And once again, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful that you've brought us at the mountain of the Lord. That we can be rebuked, we can be built up, we can be rejuvenated, we can be edified, <laughs> oh, we can be glorified. Day by day, as it pleases your heart, we raise a standard for according to John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 7. For I am the true vine, and my father is vine dresser. Every branch on me that beareth no fruit, he takes away. But that which beareth fruit, he prunes it that it may bear more fruit. And God, you say, you are already made clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me. And let my word abide in you. As the branch that cannot bring forth the fruits of its own. Unless it abideth by the fire. That's why we are grateful enough to give you praise and glory. In Jesus name. Amen. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. You can take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, brethren. Now, don't tempt me. Let's come back to class. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? You look awesome. And you look blessed. In other words, you look the awesome. You know, there are people, if you want to know the father of some certain people here, look at them. Look at the child. Thank you so much, Pastor Chris, for this opportunity, even as I'm grateful for Bishop Osham Mominde together with the administration of this house for the opportunity to share with the children of God concerning investment. Blessed be the name of Jesus. There are three things you need for you to be able to take dominion on the surface of the earth. God begins right from the onset of time by saying, let us make man in our image and likeness and let this man take dominion on earth. If I take dominion here, that is as well as trying to say it has got to be my responsibility to determine who will be worshipped in this house. That is as well as trying to say God does not have legal authority to show up on earth as God. Have you ever seen him? The same applies to the devil. He doesn't have the legal authority to show up on earth as the devil. And since God has blessed his word above his name, that is as well as trying to say he cannot break it. And that's why whenever he wants to do anything on the surface of the earth, number one, he begins by sending a man. And that's why we are here. Ah, blessed be the name of Jesus. When God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, the objective of God was to bring down every living creature in Sodom and Gomorrah. But uh, he comes to borrow for or to ask for permission from this man, Abraham, a mortal man. And Abraham is like, come on, what is it? And God says, no, I want to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham is like, God, come on, a deity of your kind. How dare you come to ask for permission from a mortal man like me? But God is like, no, 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 no. This is your office. When Abraham noticed his position, he put God on condition. And he told him, I have who? Oh, Lord. Touch him not. Now you see, God is forced to compromise his own law. Because the objective was to destroy every living thing. Now, if God has given you the authority to carry it on the surface of the earth as far as the issue of dominion is concerned, then that is as well as trying to say the key to success, it is not with your aunt. It is not with your uncle. Uh, 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 that was their money. My money took me to school. Uh, you get it? My money is taking my children to school. 
Bwana sifiwe. I'm, I'm really sorry that you are 30 years and you are still complaining about an auntie who never took care of you while you were 15. No, we need to break that spirit in this house in the name of Jesus. Uh, so we hold the authority to it. We can make it work. Number one thing we need for us to take dominion on the surface of the earth is what you call the anointing. Hallelujah. Without the anointing, you will be an, an irrelevant preacher. You need the anointing. The anointing breaks the yokes. Sometimes we take the microphones and we get to the presence of the Lord. And we are like, And people are touched. Though you didn't get what I sang, there is a feeling deep within you. Ah, I want to connect with this man. All because of what we call the anointing. We need the anointing. Anointing is divine. And for you to get it, you must be divine. The things of God are as the wind that bloweth from east to west, north to south, where it lands, only God knows. And for those who can get it, there are those who are divine. If you learn to break this, there is what this can speak that this can't speak. If we can develop a character and a lifestyle of breaking this, we will experience him. He's not too far away from us. So we need this. Hallelujah. Amen. However, having this alone is irrelevant. Until we add on it something we call politics, stroke governance. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, wacha kusema tisi vitu ni vitu za duniani, mime sita piga kura, kutopiga kura kwako, ndo kutakuangaisha. Right now you hear people talking of, I, I fear electing a certain man for presidential post because his wife once said if he's elected, he will limit the church, he will do this. Now you realize you are a highly anointed man of God, eh? But under the governance of a primary four drop out failure in life who is in the office of the government under whom you need to submit and you still expect that you'll make sense in this land as a preacher. It can never work. Look at the days of Elijah, highly anointed. In fact, the earth has never produced such an anointed as that. Elijah, but he had to run into the caves. He had also to go into the hiding. Why? Because Jezebel was not a respecter of persons. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to order the steps of the government through here. Through here. And go and vote. And be careful. Me, I'm not telling you whether it is UDI. I know UDI, we have UDS here. I know you have Yasmios here. We are struggling with the bank right now, and it is not legal. Imagine, we asked, my brother, I'm sorry, but unajua kayole ukikutana na mutu akonda, unazika, waja koya. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm simply trying to say, uh, 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 go back and reason again. You could be hating some uh, uh, people here, but the fact still remains they are the ones we need for the sake of. Like, Nairobi haitaji mwanasiasa. Kiti ya ugavana ya Nairobi haitaji mwanasiasa. Inaitaji an administrator. Wanasiasa pelekeni Kakamega County, pelekeni Kisumu County, Nyamira, pelekeni Uko. Lakini Nairobi haitaji mwanasiasa, inaitaji an administrator. Na mimi sijasema polycap, sijasema uyo muluya wetu uyo, sijawangea chochote. But when talking about politics, that does not really mean that as a minister of the gospel, you have to shift from the Bible and you go and say, Piga siasa. No, you can determine who can be elected. Sindio, in the office, for the sake of the of the church. So governance is something very important. Let me not measure on this because it's not the measure of the day. The measure of the day is here. What we call money. Now, if you are having anointing 
and uh, you are also under the right governance but you are not well established on the third aspect which we call money then at the end of the day you are also messed up yeah. in as much as it is the root of all evil the bible states that money in itself it is the answer to oh. hallelujah in other words for faith to qualify to be faith it requires the action we define it by the substance of the things hoped for and the evidence of the things not substance simply means matter something you can touch something you can see there are hardwares you get it so in other words this is a product of faith this is also a product of faith but you don't acquire it by faith software you acquired by faith in action which will call for the what for the money now the problem is how do we make money the fact still remains that each one of us makes money however small some of us make money from our spouses like for example when i give my wife 2000 i notice she has taken 200 out of it she's giving it to me as in church she says you are my pastor that's the thing or, or, or she has already made money is it some, some of us made money from make money from our boyfriends don't be a terrorist now <laughs> you, you, you get me now now when i talk money i don't want to assume that you have zero each one of us has something god begins by asking moses what do you have he never believed he had anything with himself because he belittled whatever he had despite not the days of the humble beginnings the little you have jesus says he looked at the bread and the fish it was little whatever he did he took it he broke it he gave thanks hallelujah it became more than enough that say he took it through processes he took it he received it he gave thanks he broke it breaking is a process job price and says i know it's painful yes but after god shall have taken me through this process i will come out refined better than i was because the steps of the feet of a righteous man they are ordered by god so the steps are a process in other words today you might find yourself in an experience you didn't really like but it was really good for it to appear because it was on calendar as part of the process hallelujah Now I want us to talk about the little you have that little you have and how we can position it correctly for us to be able to make it more than enough how many of us have something I want us to talk about that 200 you have hello, hello. about that 200 you get per week that is the one that I want us to talk about in line with what we call investment And in this case I want to share with you a certain understanding uh, because of course uh, there is something the servant of God was mentioning there while he was ministering hello ignorance in relation to negligence and ignorance it's a disease sometimes we perish for lack of what knowledge and knowledge does not fall off from heavens like the rains will do god has deposited knowledge in man men know what you don't know men can do what you can't do men can do what you can do but better than you can do it they have been to places you've never been i am in a place that some of you had never been in before and the question becomes the issue becomes if we can get to associate and partner together let me know what you know as i know what you know then at the end of the day you notice that eh, we are lifting one another because right from the onset of creation god has put in place that fruitfulness is the result of relationship as this insect has to carry that pollen grain from the ants of the other flower to the stigma of the other flower in order to bring about pollinization without which there will be no fruitfulness so first corinthians 14:15 and asema kwamba i will worship god in spirit and it is good i will sing to the lord in spirit and it is good but i will also worship and sing to 
to the Lord with understanding. Understanding is a product of knowledge. It comes after you sit under a set of instructions from men and women such as those in the house, hallelujah, in an hour of grace as of this kind so that you receive it. Hello? And after you receive it, you get elevated day by day. After you receive knowledge, you get to be positioned. Sometimes we mess up in life, not really because we have not been in school, but because of poor positioning. Let me tell you, at the very, very point where Peter lost, that is where Jesus won. Not really because Jesus was the son of God, but because Jesus had mastered the principle of positioning. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. that woman that is driving you crazy someone can take her and come up with a successful marriage because we know about the language of positioning Eric Omondi and with how feeble he is he may be able to carry that stuff while I'm not able to carry it he tells you the language of gymnastics does not need Obosuma. Oh, sorry it does not need Ugali it requires positioning. You understand the lever machine? Yeah. Full cram effort and the Lord. And teacher tells you no, 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 it's just about positioning. For those who play the keyboard here, I tell you no, 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 no. You don't have to learn to play all the keys. You're wasting time. Technology has changed. We have transposition. You simply need to get one key. A master key. One key. Not the 88 keys. Let those who master the 88 keys run out of time. And that's why we are degree holders in education and in everything else. While what we are in Nairobi, they are making it better than we are doing it. All because of positioning. Can we talk about positioning? Yes. And one of the major elements of positioning is what you call investment. When we mention the investment, we are simply defining tomorrow in relation to where we are today. If there is one thing Pastor Wickliff does not know, Nukuomba Omba. Iyo utaningoja kwa mulango yako, hautawai niona. Siju kuomba. Because I know how to make profit with my hands. Now, how do you position whatever you have? Most of the people, when they earn, out of hile mishara, wanapata kwa uhouse girl, uchugaji wa ngombe, kwa uzaji wa maka, wanachukua pesa, wanapeleka kwa chama. Ispokuwa chama ni hatari. Hatari ya chama ni kwamba chama Hayezi kukupatia loan. Chama, hayezi kukupatia dividends. Chama, hayiko registered. Kwa hivu, munapatia mtu leo, this week, do munamuagia mtu fulani, anahamia wapi, dandora. You don't have legal authority ya kushitaki huyo mtu. Kwa sababu, amuko registered. In fact, you are also a terrorist to have partnered with the terrorists. You get it? But what if you will take the 200 you have in the circle? Circles are the best investment platforms we have today. The challenge becomes getting a good circle. Proverbs 13 verse 7. Wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished. But the riches collected small by small with sanctity and in wisdom with a right way, in a right way, they are sustained and multiplied by God. And that's why I'm saying the 200 you get, if you can discipline yourself, you can be sure. You can be sure. You get it? Now, when I talk about investment, kindly allow me to talk about uh, Loha circle. I said in Nairobi you walk kilometers before you meet someone you can trust. Before you meet a circle you can trust. I had invested before in cryptocurrencies. You know cryptocurrency? Yeah. Those who have ever dealt with the bitcoins and such. I have been in every platform that comes. Na kumbuka wakati mungine ni kajukua pesa 108,000 together with my wife. Sampili usiku tuka invest kwa ingine ilikuwa inalipa through the M-Pesa. In the morning saa tatu wa subuhi hivi malfunctioned. Pesa ikakunyo maji. But we also knew we were risking because how, you, you are investing in a platform ambayo hauoni CEO, haujio fisiko api. Are you registered? Akuna certification from the government. When you lose it, to 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 my wife, to kalia to we live. But sometimes also when we make profit to nafraya. But uh, Pastor Chris introduced me to Gloha 
circle. Pastor Chris is a small body, but it's a reasonable figure. Yes. Sometimes don't see as small. Well, you understand me? Yani you are a canary or lira. Ilembogo on the round you na kulia ugal. Sometimes don't see some of us on the road small. Tell your neighbor you don't know what I can do. <laughs> now, Gloha Sako is a registered savings and credit cooperative society uh, by the government of Kenya whose objective is to reach you that has not been reached with uh, self-help. That's to say, we use what you have to elevate you to a place you can be proud of your own life and of we who have introduced you to it. Hello? Some of us have been in so painful moments in life as a result of luck. And the people we expected to invest in our lives, they neglected us. We had nobody to speak in our lives and expose us to opportunities as of that kind. You, you, especially when you are surrounded by people and they feel insecure when they help you. You get it? When you do better than their children. So, it took the grace of God for us to grow technically. Munakubuka technical colleges. Zikianza mara kwanza kwanza zilikuwa zinakujia watu wa E, watu wa D minus D plus. Sai, we are shocked watu wa A wanaingia technical colleges because they are doing better than even some of the universities. Lile jiwe, lililo kataliwa ndo limerude kuwa jiwe, la msinki. Are we together? Imagine Jesus is that stone, isn't it? But it's no longer here now, ladies and gentlemen. But why is the word still in the Bible? For me and you. Can you possess it? And say, I don't want to be a software person in the house of faith. Amen, amen, amen. But I want to act, to bring it into action so that the ground can fill me. Yes. The issue you must be felt. And then it happens to be that now, when I got into this thing, number one, I never invested. I stayed in the circle for a very long period of time. Because we always say once beaten, twice shy. And because I have gathered quite a good number of experiences, I was like a lady who has been raped and messed up by 99 men, and you expect that I should trust the 100th faithful one. That's why I had to run out of time on the issue of the investment. But after I approved everything, hello? It is when I joined Gloha Sako. Today, I am the product of Gloha itself. It, hello? And that's why we saw it necessary also to share with you. Because we know that one's growth is measured by how much he is reflected in those who are under him. Hello? Now, in the Gloha Sako, one of the things we will offer you it is what you call loans. Hello? Is manyumba watu wa Mungu mnaona Nairobi hapa 75% ni nini? Ni loan. Because not all of us tuko na pesa ya kununua shamba hapa Nairobi 16 million alafu tujenge nyumba ya 12 million ndani. So we are surviving on loans. But the loans in Gloha Sako as compared to other circles you realize it is as well as mimi kukuja kukupatia pesa na nikwambie end up Fanya faida, mimi nerudishie pesa yangu. Because after you join Gloha Sako, you qualify for the services offered by Gloha Sako in three months' time, and you are offered a loan three times your investment. I don't want to ask if we have house girls here, but I know of a house girl who has been saving 40, 40, 40, 40. Today, today, akonagari naitua vox. Inabeba watu kipeleka busia. Leo. Kufuwa nguwa na mapupia watoto wa watu. Let me tell you, watu munafuli wangu wapa nguwa siyo kwamba anapenda. Ni mahali maisha imemfikisha. Na hata wewe pia siyo unapenda kufuliwa. Unge raise standard kidogo unge nua machine. Ikufuli yenge. So muone uhuruma vile tuwa na juhurumia. Na kama kuna vile unaeza kumusaidia vile tumekuja kukusaidia hivi. Upate kumusaidia. Tunapatana. So... When we cannot give you a loan worth 1 million if you have saved 10K. If you save 10,000, you are only entitled to 30K. Wangapu wanauza mboga hapa? Avocado Nairobi nauza pesa ngapi? 40 bob. In kisi 10 bob tunanua avocado ngapi? 3. 
na zimemwagwa tu ndizi tunanua tuele hundred hapa Nairobi ukienda kisini 150 kwa barabara ukichukua hizo ndizi ukwenda hawa wamama wanaamkianga marikiti wataenda marikiti so utakuwa supply hapa and you make money so that is about glow hasako and sometimes we have the education board with us in the circle it's a big circle so that when you come for the loan first of all we begin by asking you what do you want to do with the loan sometimes unapata mulia anasema nataka loan ninue nini by scale lakini unapata anaambiwa na education board ya kwamba a ah, by scale haitalipa nini loan what to do jaribu hii biashara haikukua kwa kichwa yake lakini amesaidiwa na tunakutafutia market pia na utulipi kitu unafanya faida zako rudisha pesa at the interest of only but 1% are we together the second element we will offer you here it's what we call the dividends dividends kwa wale watu hawajui acha niseme kwa Kiswahili ni kusema kwamba mwaka umeisha we want to appreciate our investors na christmas tunakubaliana kwamba tutakuwa tunapatia each investor 4% or 5% or 7% depending na the management vile tunafanya namna gani tunakubaliana ya ile pesa umeinvest tunakwambia endo utafute ukule christmas haitoki kwa account yako hiyo <laughs> chama imekupatia hiyo chama imekupatia so we have dividends there we have our friend from arab emirates countries our ladies young men who went to work there kuliko aweke pesa yake kwa bank anatumanga pesa yake yote kama shares kwa sako kwa sababu hiyo sio mtu atakuwa anakuja regularly venye sisi tunakuja ikifika end of the year na analysis CEO akisema kwamba anataka aongeze to 10% 10% is better better off on the issue of the loans we are also understanding maybe i wish the, our director here will also have time to talk about it we are very understanding i know for a gentleman ambaye ali apply loan na ikakuwa ya kwamba muda umeisha na hajakamilisha alienda kaomba akasema kwamba ni ruhusuni six more months lakini nitaongeza 4% of the money i'm left with wakamkubalia that is as well as trying to say those are people who are willing to see you do what grow are we together on the aspect of the loans kitu kinasumbuanga watu sana mara nyingi ni kitu kinaitwa guarantors Oh, mlikuwa mmeningoja hapo. <laughs> But guarantors ni wazuri, lazima tu wapatikane for the sake of the safety. Are we together? But what if mna join sako watu mnajuana? Advantage ni kwamba na kusimamia unanisimamia within 24 hours unapata pesa yako, fanyia biashara, lipa pesa ya wenyewe, simamia mwingine, nisimamie mwingine, we grow one another. What we call cohesion. Are we together? That's the thing. Number two, loans zile zinaenda kwa assets kama vile shamba, hiyo hata haitaji garanta. Unapewa pesa, unanua shamba, unapeana title deed kama nini? Garanta. Kama ni gari, unapeana nini? Logbook. Waenda na gari, lipa pesa ya wenyewe, chukua logbook yako. Is that reasonable? Can we grow on that? We have what you call welfare. Welfare ndani ya sako yetu. Now on the aspect of the welfare when you join you as a member hello this one covers you your wife or husband children it covers father and mother father and mother and also father and mother in law In case any of these people akue mgonjwa take him <laughs> Okay hayo mambo hutokea si ndio Take him to the hospital of your own choice Sisi kama management wa sako tunasimamia half ya bill Na usiniambia tu kuna NHIF kuna services hautapata kwa hiyo NHIF yako You get me Mpeleke kwa hospitali ambayo wewe mwenyewe utachagua utalipa nusu Sako nayo inafanya magani inalipa nusu. Are we together? But in case any of these people nimekutajia apate kuaga dunia, then you as a member you are entitled to 50,000 Kenya shillings uende ufanye matanga. 
I have a kikuyu friend of mine ambaye alijoin na pia kaingiza mke wake. So they were two members. You get me? When the mother-in-law died, jamaa alipewa 50k, mke wake akapewa 50k. That is 100k. Ukipewa hizo mtu wa Mungu, utaweka radio tena hapo ianze kuimbia watu watu wa shembe tengi wangitupa hapo kwa pole. Si so, usafiri tu pole pole hata kuna mtu kwa plot atajua. Chukua tu rafiki akupeleke matanga muende muzike mwili na urudi uendelee na maisha yako, si ndio? So, unapewa 50k as part of the ambayo inakontributiwa at only 1200 shillings per year. That is 100 shillings in a month. Uh, uh, ni nini sasa? Ni nini sasa? Lakini wewe ukikufa as a member the most immediate next of kin wako ako entitled to 200,000 Kenya shillings akusindikize polepole. In case ukufa watu wanakufanga. There are a lot of services that I don't have time but otherwise I would have taught you about Gulo Hasako. This other element over here for you to be able now to qualify to join Gulo Hasako number one, kuwa tu mtu mzima. Mtu mzima anaanzia 18 years. Meaning you have uh, an ID. So that is to tatitaji copy ya ID yako tutahitaji copy ya KRA na tafadhali usilete kama uja file returns ende tu kwa cyber patia mtu wa cyber 150 a file return tulete copy ya KRA na nini na colored passport are we together and then plus 3500 and uh, 60 Kenya shillings this is how it is broken into here you are as a member are we together But now as a member you will need to add on vitu ambazo kama ziko unaweza zileta saa hizo ama uzilete baadaye. We will need birth certificates za watoto wako kama uko na watoto ama kama haziko tutahitaji kitu mnaitanga nini notification za watoto, si ndio? We will also need a uh, 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 copy ya IDs IDs za wale wazazi wako nimekutajia baba, mama na father na mother in law kama wako. Hizi nimeziweka hapa kando kwamba zinaweza kuja baadaye kwa sababu some people might also want to take too much time before you convince them because maisha yenyewe vile yako na ukora yenye imejaa kuitisha mtu copy ya ID lazima ashtuke. So in the process ya kubembeleza huyo mtu wewe unastahili kwa unaendeleza account yako. Hizi zinaweza kuja baadaye. Then finally on the issue ya hii this is how this money is broken into Number one, hiyo sigisti bob ni ya file ambayo watakuwa na file hizi document zenye uta, utaleta. Are we together? Then 1500 shillings ndio itakuwa ni registration. We have 1000 yenye itakuwa your first investment. Are we together? Your first investment. Then we have 1200 ambayo iko renewable in a year in every year ambayo ndio hiyo ya bene, benevolent. Are we together? And then finally toko na 700 shillings za t-shirt kama hii. So usione sijakuja na suit uone huyu ni haso la wanaka yole. Hii ni 700 nimevaa and then <laughs> and then finally toko na 100 shillings uta contribute ya kitabu kinaitwa passbook. Are we together? But sometimes unaweza kuwa unataka kujoin lakini hauna the 3000 560 you are required to produce 1560 are we together 1560 sigisti ni ya file ya kuweka hizi documents 500 registration alafu 1000 ni your first investment are we together ah uh-uh, tunasikilizana but unaomba kwamba Mungu akusaidie katika huo huo mwezi when you may join uhakikisha kwamba umetop up zifike ngapi 3560 alafu ndio uandikiwe nini receipt yako sasa as a full member sheria ni moja tu kama kuna pesa ya chini sana ambayo unastahili kuwa unaweka kwa sako by end months unaweza kuwa unalipa any day any time 40 bob 50 bob 30 bob vile Mungu anakunemesha lakini kama kuna pesa ya chini sana it should be at least 1000 200. Hiyo itashinda nani? Itashinda mtu hapa? 
Now look here. If you join this circle, we are joined. We are joined. Mushikane, in three months' time, Sinimu na Juana, Ata musisumbwana na process ya watu wako kwa sako. Susimami uyo kama garanta. Na we susimami uyo mungina kama. Mimi Krisa ni nesimamia kama garanta. Sidiyo? Haku angalia kwamba. Oh, oh, oh. He looked at it as in this is a brother I need to grow. You get it? Mimi nime service lord nime maliza. Nikaenda nikesimamia mungi? Mungine. As long as. Can we relate like that? And we find ourselves growing. I want to finish on that and say, welcome to Glow Hasako. Let us grow together. Let us raise the standard together. You can have my number before you leave this place. And God shall bless you. Shalom. Thank you. Amen. Can we appreciate Pastor Weekly for that? Imagine it's possible. Your pastor is mingi. I know we can do it. Sinye mna pelekanga madem zenu date na mna walipia fair na inakuwa more than 3,000. Sasa badala ya, ku, ya, ya kulipia heartbreak juu hata kuacha tu bado siheri wingie kwa sako. Si ndio? Ndio hata hata, hata ukilia at least uko na pesa kwa sako. Si ndio? So I think um, for all those who want to join Gloha Sako Pastor Weekly will still be here. He will do everything that you need na tatusaidia. We need to make money, si ndio? Na usifikirie sana. So ukikatiwa ukange hata 24 hours unaingia nga box. Sasa hii yenye itakusaidia kupata do. See it's important for your future. It's good to secure your future. So we thank the Lord for this. Niliomba kuna vitu poa. I was not lying. So we thank the Lord. Thank you Pastor Weekly for that. Na tunaweza taka kwa hiyo sako mtu angalie maneno ya weddings. Muone venye kwa hiyo welfare we can get money to have weddings. Sini mewa ongelelea? Msijifanya sija wa ongelelea. Wengine enu wa mjaolewa jumu na ogopa pesa za arusi. Msijali.